In yesterday's video, I built this little gem of a gift with purchase. This is Majesto's Magical Workshop, which gave me a free trip down Lego memory lane. And today's video is going to be more of the same, although this didn't feel nearly as free or nearly as much like a gift because I had to use $20 or so worth of Lego Insider slash VIP points to get. This is what I'm calling the Lego Walkman. Although Lego didn't have the Sony license for this, so it's just called the Retro Tape Player. It's set number 6471612. Try saying that once. But for me, this is just like that set. This takes me back to the early 90s, back when I was not only enjoying Lego Castle sets, but also had a Sony Walkman tape player. And I'm excited to build this and see what it's like. Every time I spend money that I could use on actual discounts on sets on things like this, I always question myself, but then I always decide that it's the right move to make because this essentially is a Lego collectible. Even though Lego doesn't really treat it that way because as I mentioned in the haul video for this, the box that they use for these is very disappointing. What you're looking at there on the cover, that's actually the instruction manual. So they put no love into these. It's just like a standard box and they throw that in there. So not collectible in that way, but it is something that's kind of limited. That being said, you probably could pull all these pieces out of your collection at their very least brick link a bunch of those. So you, you could probably build this for much less than what I paid for it in VIP slash insider points. I'm still trying to make that transition, but I think this thing is cool. And like I said, nostalgia runs strong with me. It's like my most like powerful thing. And that's why I enjoy Lego so much and games and everything. Cause it's like, I'm always on a quest to go back to the innocence of childhood and the time before life became so complicated. And this is what, that's what this reminds me of. If you're wondering how many pieces this is, 145. So if you're a piece nerd or a 10 cents per piece loyalist, you're already gonna say before I open this up that this was overpriced, but let's truly see just just what we got here. And uh, again, just <laughs> Lego doesn't make you feel special at all with these, do they? We got a Ziploc bag here with the parts and uh, that's what it says on the front. This just feels, this feels like something someone made at home and put on Etsy is what this feels like. And that's not the experience you wanna have when you're opening up what is, I guess, a somewhat limited Lego set. Like to get this, again, you have to go on to their insiders or VIP section there and you have to redeem it. And to redeem it, you have to give them, I think it's what, like 2,100 VIP points. I can't remember, but I remember thinking it was like 20 bucks. And yeah, I, um, I don't know about this. <laughs> Anyways, let's open this up and we'll, you know, Ziploc bag our pieces right out of here. That's all it is. This seems like I could have probably got something like this at the at Walmart or Target for $14.99, but it's not limited. And that's how they get me. That's how Lego draws me in. If this was just sitting at the store, I might have bought it. But because it's on Lego VIP and you have to redeem it and they make it feel like something special, it's like the classic Nintendo thing. It's like it's almost like scarcity. Like I gotta get this thing before it's gone. Yeah. That's how they got me. Show you all the parts that came out of this. And I will convert those parts into a Walkman or a retro tape player and headphones and cassette, which I'm, I'm kind of excited about, to be honest. So let's not judge this too harshly. Even though Lego doesn't make us feel special, we won't judge us too harshly until we finish building it. Packaging complaints aside, the build from this was actually pretty fun. It was built in three parts, had the retro tape player, had the headset, headphones, and then we had the cassette tape. So the way this works, you can open this up. I haven't actually combined these together yet because I thought I would save it for you and for the video so I can give my honest reaction. There's a button over here and I'm curious. It's gonna be like uh, an eject, hopefully. I think the tape's just gonna go in here like this, which is a nice tight fit. So you put that in there like that. And if we close the door, let's see if this works. No. <laughs> does not open the door. Wow, it doesn't even really even eject that. That's that's not very good. Okay. <laughs> I was I was expecting this to be pretty awesome. Now, geez Louise, am I gonna be able to get that out of there? Holy smokes. What if I wedge this thing up in the corner up here? That is not helping at all. I found the secret, you just take it apart and then you can pop the tape out. Man, that was disappointing. Not that this should be fully functional, but I thought that would be like a really cool thing. In my mind, what I thought would happen, definitely wishful thinking. I was thinking that you would hit that button like that 
it would like pop the tape enough that the door would open as well a little bit and then you could just like take that out almost like an inject but let's let's just try it with the door open put the tape in like that again and then what happens if i hit the eject button now not nearly enough yeah and then you're kind of just stuck in this no man's land of the tape being partially out dude that sucks maybe if i put the tape upside down does that have any impact no not really am i missing something here is there some type of secret i guess they don't even show the tape in there so maybe maybe it's just for decoration i guess for now i'll just put the tape inside there and we'll we'll just kind of position it like that and then the headphones these are the headphones again very small this isn't going to fit on your head by any means it's it's very small but then it has that that you can plug in there this is a relic of the past remember when we had headphone jacks those were the days especially on our phones but uh, there you go that's the headphones that's the the retro tape player walkman that you can open the door but the tape really doesn't want to come out very well i do like that <laughs> okay oh gosh what is even going on with this thing did i really spend 20 dollars on this i'll have to do the math on it i i i think like based on the build quality of this and now that fell off i think maybe this is like stretching it maybe 9.99 would be fair but man i would not spend your hard-earned lego insider vip points on this i know that you get those for free just by shopping on lego I mean, you could have used i could have used this money towards something else on there that would have got me a discount towards a bigger set instead I'm, I'm left with this and just a whole pile of disappointment but that is uh the retro tape player set six four seven one six one two it's not often that i'm disappointed with lego but this is definitely one of those situations so um, i'm gonna give this a do not buy rating the box and packaging is disappointing. I thought that was going to be the end of it, though. I thought after we got past that, I was going to be like, dude, don't even worry about the packaging. This thing's pretty neat. But unless I'm, I'm doing something wrong or missing something, it's, it's, it's just not, not great. So, yeah, there is the uh, Brickitech disappointment of the day. I hope this saves you some money and disappointment in the future. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next freebie Lego video, hopefully with something that's more like that and less like that.